Lesson 10, we will be subtracting decimals using place value strategies and relate those strategies to a written method. So the strategy that we're using is just renaming. And if you notice here, we have 1 and 7 tenths minus 8 tenths. We're going to rewrite that standard form in unit form. So we have 1 and 7 tenths is equal to 17 tenths and 8 tenths is equal to 8 tenths. And when we do that subtraction, we get 9 tenths, and we rewrite that as standard form, 9 tenths. Now it says subtract vertically, which is our standard algorithm, and it wants us to show all of the work. So let's just rewrite this number here. Okay, so if we're subtracting these two numbers, we have 84 and 637 thousandths minus 28 and 56 hundredths. We know that if we add a placeholder here, that 56 hundredths is now set as 560 thousandths, which is the same thing because 56 hundredths is equal to 560 thousandths. All right, so let's do some subtraction here. 7 minus 0 is 7. 3 minus 6, we can't do that, so we have to look and say, well, we have three hundredths and we're trying to take away six hundredths. We know we need to regroup one of our tenths. So now this six tenths is going to become five tenths because we're regrouping one tenth as ten hundredths. So now we have thirteen hundredths minus six and we know that that is seven. And then we have five tenths minus five tenths is zero. Four minus eight. We can't do that, so we need to regroup. Regrouping one of my tens as 14 ones. So since I took one of my tens away, it's eight tens now drops to a seven tens, and now I have 14 ones instead of four ones. And I know that 14 minus eight, six, and seven tens minus two tens is five. And there's my answer. 56 and 77 thousandths. Students, if you get confused, remember you say this number as if the decimal isn't there, 77, and then look at what place value this last digit is in, thousandths. So 56 and, decimal says and, 77 thousandths. Let's take a look at B here. A lot of people got confused. Remember B is saying 7, the whole number 7, minus 35 hundredths. So if we're doing that, we look at our hundreds place. We have zero hundreds, take away five hundreds. If you have zero hundreds, you can't take away five hundreds. You would have to regroup. So we're going to take this seven, our seven holes, and we're going to take one of those holes and regroup it as ten tenths. Then we say, well, we still need to get back to our hundreds. So we're going to take one of those tenths. Now we have nine tenths remaining. We're going to take the one tenth and regroup it as ten hundredths. Now we have 10 minus 5 is equal 5, and we have 9 tenths minus 3 tenths is 6 tenths, and we have 6 holes minus 0 holes equals 6. All right, so remember a couple things here. If you didn't notice, make sure that you are aligning your place value units up. So here I have all of my hundredths lined up, all of my tenths lined up, my decimals are lined up, and I have my ones lined up. Same thing up here on this top number. I have my thousandths, I have my hundreds, I have my tenths, I have my ones, and I have my tens. If you don't line those numbers up, a lot of students in this bottom number here, B, made the mistake of lining this number up here incorrectly. If you don't recognize that this is a seven, not seven tenths, not seven hundredths. It's a seven, a whole seven. It has to be in the ones place. And you know that you have no ones in the second number. We have seven in our menu and 35 hundredths in our subtrain. All right, so once again, boys and girls, hopefully this helped you. If you need any additional help, please make sure you reach out to me during class time so that we can review additional problems regarding the subtraction of decimals.